What's up gamers and welcome to the channel. Merry Christmas. So in this video what we're going to be talking about is what's going on this week in Grand Theft Auto 5. So Christmas has finally hit Los Santos. We got snow, we got Christmas clothing and a whole lot more. And in this video we're going to be talking about what's going to be going on this week and what you guys need to be doing so you can be making some extra money and then getting some collectible stuff as well. All right, so moving right down the line here, the very first thing that it's going to be talking about, which I just made a video on, is all of the snowman locations. There's going to be 25 snowman locations, and if you guys destroy these, you will end up getting the snowman outfit, and then on top of that, you'll be earning a little bit of RP and gaining $125,000 by finding all this. Just go to my channel and then look for that video. And then you guys should be able to go ahead and easily find every 25 of these snowman locations. And you will unlock the snowman outfit. And yes, we're going to be able to keep the snowman outfit forever. All right, you guys, moving on. Okay, let's talk about this real quick. It says, beware of the gooch. So I don't know if you guys know what a gooch is, but I think it's that place in between your... Yeah, but anyways, from there, you guys, check this out. We've got some sort of Grinch, looks like, ripoff here of some sort. So this is what's going to be going down. You guys are going to be in a session with two people or more, 20 minutes or longer, and then all of a sudden, this guy is going to come up, and he's going to, like, basically mug you, and then you're going to have to kill him. And then other than that, you're going to go up, and you're going to pick up his mask, and then you're going to be able to unlock, basically, a blue monkey mask. But I'll be talking about that and making a video on that separately later on. But just watch out for this guy because my friend already got mugged twice and I haven't even gotten mugged once. And I'm sure uh, this guy is definitely prowling around at nighttime. So beware. All right, here's another thing that I made a video on prior to is how to unlock. Well, it's going to be a brand new thing in the game. It's going to be an event and it's called the Weasel Plaza uh, Shootout. Okay, so if you go to the location, you go to my video and you check it out. During the nighttime, you have to have two people or more in a session, and it has to be 20 minutes or longer to activate this right here. And you're going to have to be near like 400 meters, I think, within the Weasel Plaza area. And then from there, this event will pop off, and you can be unlocking the WM, I believe, pistol that has just made its way into the game. So a brand new pistol, and that's how you guys unlock it. If you want to know additional information, just go to my channel and check out the video on it. So finally, it looks like Rockstar has been listening to me because I've been coming up with this idea, it seems like year one. I'm talking 10 freaking years ago, I had this idea of them bringing in a candy cane for a melee weapon. So if you guys log in, you will notice that in your melee inventory, we now have a candy cane. Is this going to thing be forever? I don't necessarily know, but I can imagine, yes, it is. We're going to be able to keep this thing forever. Super awesome. And we don't even have to do anything to grab it. We just automatically get it when we log online. Also, another gift. You guys see this beer hat right here? Yeah, we're going to be able to get that beer hat as well. And I think uh, possibly this uh, some shirts and things in here too as well maybe I don't know we got this mask right here I think this uh, shirt right here is uh, going to be also part of the Christmas clothing that's coming into the game and then here is the actual uh, snowman outfit that you end up getting for you know uh, basically smashing 25 snowmen and then you're going to unlock this outfit that we're going to be able to keep forever and I want to see if we can do some glitches with it potentially and get that top hat <laughs> on my graveside outfit or something that'd be funny all right you guys and then here's the livery for the gun so when you do like the weasel plaza challenge thing or event that's popping off and you get the wm29 pistol you're also going to unle or unlock this uh livery right here for the mark ii pistol it seems like all right other things that are going on in the game we got acid lab this week dishing out double cash and double rp so let me talk about this just for a second okay so we're getting a bonus if we make a cell mission in a public session if you guys have your acid lab fully upgraded and fully stocked you'll be getting a little over five hundred thousand dollars for making a sale with it double cash and double rp right now you'd be making a little over a million dollars and i'll be making a video talking about this and how we're going to be making a million dollars every acid lab cell mission in the game this week definitely want to be taking advantage of that it's going to be a nice little way of making some extra money in the game all right you guys and then here we looks like we have beast versed slashers which is going to be dishing out double cash and double rp looks like we have here double cash and double rp on races so if you guys go into races uh you can earn some double cash and double rp 
All right, moving on down the line here. New vehicles at Simeon's. New prize ride vehicle over at LS Car Meet. New podium vehicle. We've got a bunch of vehicles that are on sale in here. I don't really feel like reading any of them. Uh, you guys can easily just make this out for yourself, I'm sure, because you have good vision. I'm assuming. And then it's just going on to talk about some GTA Plus information and some other stuff like that, too. So basically, if you win, a, you know, an LS Car Meet race, once, like every single day this week, you're going to be getting the Comet S2, I believe, with a Christmas livery on it. Uh, I might do that. I don't know if it's actually going to be worth it. I don't necessarily like the S2 Comet or the Comet, whatever you want to call it. Um, but necessarily, you guys, that is what is going on this week in Grand Theft Auto V. So main thing here that you probably want to be doing is these uh, snowman collectibles, which I made a video on my channel. And then soon I'll be making a video talking about this right here and how to unlock this mask and everything like that, which I did talk about in the video. And then also another video that I did make already is how to unlock the WM29 pistol. You guys should go over to my channel and check that out so you don't miss out on any of these collectibles this week. And of course, like Christmas clothing has come back into the game. So now it's time to get festive and, you know, have a good time in the snow, potentially, because that's where we're at right now in Grand Theft Auto. And I don't know if you guys didn't notice this, but this is, like, Santa Claus right here with Rudolph and his eight reindeer and stuff like that. Is that something that we're going to be able to see, like, actually on Christmas night, like, Christmas Eve? Or are we going to be able to... Dude, you know how cool that would be to see, like, Santa Claus going from house to house? Like, oh, he's at Michael's house! <laughs> what is he giving Michael? I don't know. That'd be really cool, though. How's he going to get down the chimney in Trevor's trailer? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't remember there being... <laughs> chimney out there but anyways from there guys this is the weekly update in what's going on in grand theft auto 5 this week for the festive surprise update that just got released into the game today so anyways from there if you guys enjoyed the video and it was helpful hit that like button down below on the way out subscribe for more content leave a comment and thank you guys for watching my name is gravesite i'll see you in the next one so peace